we have two buttons here and a bit of text that says the current count is zero. The buttons say minus one and plus one and we want to update the count value when they are clicked. Let's add an X data attribute to our wrapping div and define an object which will have a count state value set to zero. We have just defined a component and that count state value will be available within the scope of this component. To output the value of this count, we can use another AlpineJS directive, xText, which will update the inner text value of an element. The zero here is now our actual state value. Let's verify this by changing the value to two in our data object, and you can see the value updated in the DOM element. For both buttons, I will add another directive, xOn, used to define event listeners. Here, we're listening to the click event, so we'll use xOn column click. There is a shorthand syntax available for event listeners. You can use the at symbol instead of x on. For the first button, I want to set the count value to count minus one, count minus minus. For the other one, we'll set it to count plus plus. Let's try it out, and yep, it works. Now, let's say below our paragraph, we want to have a reset button that sets the count to zero. If I create another button down here, and set the add click to be count equals zero, well, it doesn't work. This is because the count value is only available within the scope of the component where it's defined. If we move the button up inside the wrapper, increment the count a bit and click reset, it now works. As a recap, we define the state object with the X data directive, which makes this state available within the component scope. We then use the X text to display the count value and listen to click events with X on or at click, where we can update the state according to our needs.